Now I'm going to repeat that three or four times until I feel like the horse is really carrying himself in the front. I say in the front because self-carriage is something that you notice more on the front end of the horse than you do on the rear end. Self-carriage is about getting the front end up and out of the way. You might notice already that compared to the way I had to warm him up last summer, he already gets the self-carriage thing much more easily. Now what I don't want is that he buries himself in front of the saddle when I go to walk. So if he does that, I know I'm using a little, or to halt, sorry. If he does that, I know I'm using a little too much rain coming into it. So I'm gonna try that again when I cross the center line. See if I can actually make the transition from my lower leg and seat without the rain, good boy. Uh, no creepies in the halt. If he starts creeping in the halt or I'm not satisfied with the feeling in my hand, I'm gonna ask, ask a transition to I can explain it, but I think observation is the best way. Go back to that video from June. Look at what I had to do with this horse to get my message across. And see how easy it is for him now compared to that. And then try to imagine what it looked like in another six months when we make a video. Now here's something else you need to notice about him. If I can get the cameraman to zoom in on his hindquarters, Watch the muscles in his hindquarters.